All right, guys, we've had some requests uh, when it comes to changing TPAs and pinouts for using the uh, GPEC 2 connectors. And we just wanted to kind of give you a tutorial on how you do a repin on these guys and really what it's all involved. It's very easy. So we want to make sure that you guys get some good video content on what we're doing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by going ahead and removing this TPA. Okay, now that we have the TPA removed, what we're gonna do is need to access the back of the wire so we could pull them out. The terminal is actually pulled from the rear of the connector. So what we're gonna do is get a precision screwdriver, open up this retention tab, make sure you do pull from this side and rotate outward. If you try to just kind of hulk out, rip it out, what you'll wind up doing is breaking these cleats on the rear end and then this connector, this wire protective connector, this piece will not really stay on here any longer and it'll make your life a nightmare, especially with the, the lever lock. So if this doesn't stay on, this lever lock will not function properly and it'll be a real pain to get it back on the ECM. So now that we have the back off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a pick and you could go into the TPAs as we showed you and we're going to go ahead and release the pin. What we recommend doing is, since you have the full connector, when you go and, and you get this connector, it comes complete. Instead of trying to keep track of where everything is and, you know, remove this pin out and stick it back over here and do all the configurations and changes on this one connector and then take the TPA off and put it on, what you could actually do is just use them side by side. So if we're going to go ahead and remove this terminal, slide down the side just as we showed you find it on the back so that should be this one pull the detent There you go. And go straight into the other connector. So whatever hole is on the pinout sheet, you would simply slide it in here and you'll feel it lock into place. And once it's slid in, locked into place, you now are, you're having your spot kept. So you just transfer pin to pin based on the pin numbers on the back so until you have all of the wires transferred over to the new connector, and when you're done, you just simply snap it down and you're done. Here's a close-up view that shows a little bit more detail, the retention pins that we're talking about. So as I wiggle it, you can see that little shiny detent in there. And here's another one. I'll take a step back. It's right there at the tip. You can see them there. You see those kind of shiny rectangles far down in there if i go in here and wiggle it you see it move that is the detention clip so that's what you're moving out of the way so you can remove the pin you simply slide the tip of your pick down the terminal until it reaches it and you move that out of the way and that's when you'll see that pin kind of move a little bit signifying it's been unlocked